Yo, what's up everyone, Kennedy here. In this video I'll be going over the healer meta in 9.0.5, looking over the patch notes and playing a bit with all the healers, I got the impression that they're very close in terms of ranking. Somehow Blizzard managed to make them fill different niches and create diversity. I strongly encourage you to choose the one you feel will fit you the most. I also want to point out that I'll be talking strictly about Mythic Plus, so let's go over the changes. Starting off with Resident Druids, they got a healing out buff. This should help them much more with the whole bursty damage patterns that you've seen in Mythic Plus. A lot of the damage comes as a burst and not over time. It rarely happens that it comes over time. This is probably one of the most near changes for us to do than just the healing output of their spells. Covenant wise, Nicolor did get buffed, but I still think it is a bait right now. Convoke is still so much better than Adaptive Swarm, just because Adaptive Swarm, well, it is more of a single target healing spell. The Covenant flexibility just isn't there, and having a Druid that's not Night Fake kind of feels weird, not having Convoke feels incredibly weird, and that's probably the biggest issue that Blizzard has to overcome. Overall, I think in the coming weeks we should be seeing more Rusted Druids, they're a fine spec, I generally feel they have so much utility, this healing output should help a lot, and overall I feel they are a very very solid healer. Holy Paladins got a simple Holy Shock nerf, which to be frankly honest, I don't even think you will feel it. This spec is absolute bonkers. It is literally the fourth DPS in your group, and in some cases can even beat some specs if Ashen Hollow is on the ground. If that wasn't enough, the utility is also really good with the blessings. I would say the biggest downside to Holy Paladins is their healing output. It always felt to me like they're cooldown reliant, especially on wings. Divine Toll or Ashen Hollow can add another serious cooldown to the mix, but relying on a Covenant to add another cooldown, I don't think that's good design. Covenant wise, the Necklord buff was needed, but still not enough to make it a competitive choice. Overall, I feel like Holy Paladins are in an insane spot and they're one of the most sought after healers right now. Next up is Discipline Priest. The spiritual nerf shouldn't really affect Mythic Plus as it was more of a raid nerf. Most priests were running lenience in dungeons. If they were running spiritual, it was mostly for plus 25s, plus 26, you know, these types of mythic dungeons that for the casual player base or for the normal player base, they weren't really something that we were doing, let's be honest. There isn't that much to say about this priest, it still remains one of the best healers when it comes to pre made mythic plus. One of the luxuries of this priest have always been their incredible flexibility when it comes to covenants. I've seen it all and it never felt to me like they gimped themselves. The Night Fake buff looks juicy and worth a shot in a pre-made environment. Happily, 9.0.5 didn't change anything to this priest and we can continue spamming men's on our fellow bugs. Holy Priest is often seen as a joke of a spec but I think otherwise. This spec is really good for healing low to mid keys with random people in it. It has really good on the spot healing and Guardian Angel is really good for when you need to save your tank or just pump more healing into them. The Divine and buff shouldn't affect Mythic Plus but it's still nice to have. It also has the same luxury as its fellow Disc Brothers and that is Covenant flexibility. I've not seen that many holies but the few that I saw all were different covenants. Overall, a really good spec to learn the healing role as it is beginner friendly and sometimes much easier to play when it comes to pugging compared to this priest. Shami's got some very intriguing buffs, probably the most out of all those packs. Damage wise, they were buffed in terms of chain lightning which was close to useless. The level burst nerf was reverted as it was a mistake on Blizzard's part and to be honest it made no sense in the first place. We did get a lot of changes when it comes to covenants. This can slowly help Shami's become very versatile when it comes to covenants, but the issue is that the Necklord ability just synergizes so much better with your whole kit. Some people run Vent here, but mostly because they are also doing Mythic Plus and filling the covenant void in the team. Nothing really changes for Shami's, they do remain one of the kings of Pugging and Plus due to how many answers they have to damage taken by their party, and Spirit Link being absolutely insane when it comes to stabilizing a whole party in less than a second. Right, I left the best for the last as I'm about to go on a rant. I tried playing Mistweaver with these buffs and I genuinely barely feel them. This spec is so weird as it feels it has no spot right now. Single target healing is there, but the mana isn't there. AoE healing is almost non-existent. Two very underwhelming cooldowns and damage wise they're also pretty weak. You can make a case 
their utility is good with Paralysis and Ring of Peace giving control over trash packs and making certain affixes either non-existent or barely noticeable. The Monk mobility is also something good, but these things are not connected directly to keeping your party intact. This spec requires so much more love from Blizzard that it is in a spot which I genuinely struggle to play and I like Mistweaver. For the last chapter, I wanted to put up some suggestions. These are in no particular order, it is just which one came into my mind when I was making the list. I might have missed some killers in some categories, but I think they should do the job. I want to repeat that every healer is fine, it is one of the most versatile roles and you really can go wrong with any of the choices. All of them are very close in terms of doing their job, besides maybe Wistweaver. Keep in mind that there is no perfect healer and trying to find the true number one is a fallacy. Feel free to pause the video as there is a lot of text to go through. Alright, that's it for the video, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something new or I helped in some way. And as per usual, I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.